What's up friends? Welcome back to another video and welcome to the December round of the Queer Lit Readathon. If you're new here, my name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk about queer books and I like to make themed reading vlogs. So today I am starting off the vlog. It is Sunday, December 5th, and I am going to take you through my Queer Lit Readathon week. If you've been living under a rock and you just ended up missing this, I am the guest co-host for the Queer Lit Readathon. If this is your first time hearing about the Queer Lit Readathon, welcome! I will link down below the creators of this readathon, Kathy and Rogan, and my announcement video will be up above if you just want to learn more so you can participate next year. They do four rounds of this. There's two week rounds and two weekend rounds. I started off the morning reading my novella, I am 26% in, to Mangoes and Mist Mistletoe by Adriana Herrera. We have older Dominican women and they are competing in a holiday baking competition and if you know me, that is my favorite thing ever. I'm a big baker and I love to read books about baking, but I also love baking competition shows. I don't watch TV that much, but when I do, I'm always watching any baking competition show. I am really enjoying this, but I'm also glad that I have audiobooks because I am just so distracted that I need to listen to something to like put me into focus. So the agenda for today is to pre-film some more of my 12 days of vlogmas videos. This is starting off the 12 days of vlogmas, so you are going to see a bunch of videos up until the 24th, so feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't, so you won't miss out on all of the fun. So I'm going to get started on a pre-filming and I will be back later to hopefully update you with my thoughts on mangoes and mistletoe. Bye. It is almost six o'clock and I have been reading Mangoes and Mistletoe. I am now 67% in. I got my videos done for the day and after that I was just so tired but I kept reading. I'm really enjoying this. I just got to the sex scenes and they were immaculate. They were so good and I don't read smut very often. This might be like the second time ever, but I'm really enjoying it. It's really good, but I do wish there was like more of the baking, but I know how a book is supposed to be executed and organized, so I know why it's happening, but I just personally want to see more baking, so I'm in that scene right now, but hockey's coming on in like five minutes, so I am going to just read during intermission because that is what I always do. Or if they're just losing, then I'll turn it off and I'll read instead because I prioritize my mental health. <laughs> What's up friends? It's Monday morning and last night I finished Mangoes and Mistletoe, giving it a four star. I loved it a lot. It was really good, so if you read it, let me know in the comments what you thought. It's a sexy and steamy female-female romance following two Dominican women who are competing in a televised holiday baking championship and they're both there for different reasons. And I really like that dynamic because we have our character Soli who her family nominated her for the show. And then we have Kizakiya and it is a big deal to her to win this because it is going to be a life-changing experience and basically her life depends on winning. The characters really complemented each other because Soli is very high strung and she even says that she is too much for people. And then we have Kizakiya who is just determined. Sometimes she can be stubborn. She easily gets angry at Sully, so there is just a lot of banter and just a lot of shit going on, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I 
would only say that like I wish that I saw more of the competition mainly because that was my interest though I do think if this was a larger novel we would have been able to see so much more but we do get a nice wrap up of knowing where the characters are after the book and I just enjoyed it. I thought it was really good so if you are looking for a holiday or romance I would highly recommend this. I'll have it linked down below for you to pick it up. I also really liked the sex scenes. They were so steamy like this was the steamiest book I've ever read and it was awesome. I'm definitely going to pick up the author's other works so if you have read her before let me know which one I should pick up next. I only know of Finding Joy and I know there's another Christmas one so maybe I'll pick that one up as well. I was able to get some reading in during the game because if you saw the clips uh our final score was seven to one. Uh? So I might be actually rejoicing in this video if one of the coaches gets fired today because I think that in my personal opinion they should. The team ended up losing horribly seven to one. I shut it off at the fifth goal, just went in my room, got some reading done, finished it while I was listening to the post game and um, kind of regret ever becoming hockey fan. <laughs> That's entirely a joke, but sometimes I'm like, why, why didn't someone warn me about this before they introduce me to hockey and usually I'm not this down on the team like the beginning of the season I was hype we were doing a great job I was so excited to watch hockey again and then they just messed it all up for me and now we are on an eight game losing streak and we play again tonight so let's make it nine why not Hello, it is four o'clock and I just finished work for the day. I was listening to the audiobook of Where We Go From Here and I am loving this. This might be another favorite book of the year. I'm loving it so much. However, I didn't get a lot of audiobook listening done because the Flyers head coach and assistant coach got fired this morning. So I was very happy about that. So I was busy watching the press conference and I was also listening to my Flyers podcast because they were doing a lot of episodes about it. So I was just consumed with that content and we also play tonight. Um, not sure what's going to happen there. My personal opinion, I'm happy that it happened. I've been wanting it to because we're just doing awful and I just don't think that they work together anymore. We've had this coach for three seasons and I just don't think that the players were meshing well with the coaches. So sometimes it just happens. The Flyers go through coaches so much and I'm like, it sucks that we have to do this again, but hopefully it's for the best. And after last night, I just knew someone had to go. I literally just said that like before I made that last clip saying somebody has to go. I went on to my computer and I saw <laughs> that he was fired. So look at that. Um, but I am going to finish getting some editing done because I need to start on editing my 12 days of Vlogmas videos. And then hopefully we'll get more reading in. I'm loving where we go from here. It's really good so far. I was telling the host as well, I'm actually so happy that we picked this for the group read because it's such a solid read and I'm really enjoying it. But for now, I will go and edit. And welcome to day three of the Queer Lit Readathon. I started my graphic novel this morning, The Girl from the Sea, and realized it's not a middle grade, so I cannot complete that prompt. I'm really enjoying it. I am going to eat my lunch and read more of it, and then I have to get some work done. I just got back from Walmart and I picked up 
a gingerbread village that I'm going to be attempting to make in a video. So look out for that. I'm really excited. I got a smaller one because when I did this last year, I had trouble, but the one I had last year was actually pre-built. So this is going to be a different experience for myself. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying The Girl from the Sea. It's giving me aquamarine vibes and I am so excited to continue reading it. <laughs> No, no, no. We're not going to end it there. We can't end it there. No. The Alba Car is one of the most exciting offensive defensemen I, I think we've seen in years, if not ever, right? Like, he's absolutely unbelievable. But to have a defenseman. It is Friday, I have some mail to open, and I have reading updates. I finished my graphic novel on Tuesday, giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and that is mainly because it just ended abruptly and I didn't appreciate that but I really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed Sheets by Brenna Thumler, I would recommend this to you. It is about a girl who likes girls and she's just trying to come to terms with that and she feels like it is going to be another stressor on her family if she comes out to them and it was really a great story and I really enjoyed it and I honestly would read it again but the ending annoyed me. As you could see in the last clip, I was really surprised. I don't think that should stop you from reading this because the message inside is so beautiful and I loved it a lot. And while I was working today, I finished the group read Where We Go From Here by Lucas Roca. This was so good. I'm giving it a five star. I loved it a lot. I love character driven books and this gave me everything that I wanted. It is following three gay men who are all at different stages in their life and how HIV affects them and it was just so good. This was narrated so well that we have so many characters in the story but the way the audiobook was narrated we just saw all of those characters come alive and that is why I love audiobooks. I still have a lot of my TBR to go. I have been reading May the Best Man Win by Z.R. Eller and I am 30 pages in and I have an audiobook for I'll Be the One by Lila Lee and Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee and everyone commented on my TBR video saying I should prioritize I'll Be the One so that might be my first audiobook but it's like the longest one that I have I believe it's like nine hours long so hopefully I can get somewhere with that. I'm like conflicted because I want to read both of them so who knows what's going to happen. I'll figure it out tomorrow but for now I am going to continue reading May the Best Men Win and hopefully pick up I Am a Prince but let's open the packages because I'm excited. Got my scissors. This one is from Angel and she asked me what my favorite color schemes were. It was very cryptic and I don't know what this is. It might be a hat because that's what she's been making in her vlogmas videos. So I'm kind of just excited to see which one I got. So let's just open it because I got this at 12 o'clock. It's 2.30 and I wanted to open it while I filmed and I was in the middle of working. So I'm very excited that I get this present now. I like don't know how to open this without like damaging it. I'm just gonna like snip it off and see what happens. Okay. What is this? <laughs> okay. Should I don't should I read the card first? Oh, it says Merry Christmas. That's so nice. 
I think I'm going to open the card first because why not? Mm, look at that card. Oh, I have to send her one. Oh, I love her. Okay. Listen, I was watching her videos and I was like, I really hope that I get the blue one and I do. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to put it on right now. Look how big it is. I love it. Oh my god. Thank you, Angel, so much. Go subscribe to Angel. She'll be down below. I've been talking about her so much lately, but you should because she's awesome. Um, oh my god. I love this so much. I love this. Oh, I love it. I was watching her videos and I was like, I hope I get the blue one. I love the blue one. Wait, I love it so much. <laughs> I love it. It's so cozy and great. Thank you so much to Angel. I love it so much and I'm so excited that it's the blue one. She's doing Vlogmas where she tries to knit a hat every day up until Christmas. So her link will be down below if you want to go and watch her and she's awesome and I love this hat. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then I have a book to open which I don't know what this is. Um, it looks like it might have been sent. Oh, it might have, it might be the book that, um, Catapult, I don't know if it was them, but one of them, someone. Yeah. This is High Risk Homosexual, a memoir by Edgar Gomez. <laughs> Look at that cover. Uh, <laughs> very interesting, exciting. I love memoirs. I really need to read the books that Catapult has sent me, and I believe that's Angel. Oh, and Leo really likes the paper. <laughs> I'll have a link down below if you want to check this out. Soft School Press this is from, but it's also Catapult. They're like an imprint of Catapult. Um, well, okay, it comes out next year. As always, the link will be down below. But thank you to Angel and thank you to Soft School Press for sending me this book. And I am going to probably, I don't know what I'm going to do but I love this hat so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> so it's almost three o'clock. I am going to start on some video stuff. I am going to pick my next audiobook and I don't really have a lot else going on. Hockey's not on until 10 o'clock tonight and we're on a 10 game losing streak. So um, I'm gonna have a lot of reading that I can actually get done beforehand and uh, I'll see you later. Hello, it is the last day of the Queer Lit Readathon and I have some updates so let's talk about it. I've come to the conclusion that I do not think I am going to finish May the Best Man Win by the end of the day. It is 380 pages and I don't want to just zoom through it because I have a lot of things to do and an audiobook is just going to work better. Yesterday and this morning I listened to more of the audiobook for Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee and as much as I'm so excited to read it I don't like the narrator and I also have trouble with fantasy and just world building in general so I think I need to take my time with this book. It's more of a situation where I need the hybrid read where I'm reading the physical book and listening at the same time and I just don't have time to be doing that right now. So I do have a reading win. I read I Am a Prince by Damien A. Lopez this morning and I loved it a lot. I'm giving it a five star. It's a self-published book so it is taking off the trans debut square. Anyway, this is about a prince who does not feel like a princess and it is so awesome. It is about the prince basically communicating with his parents and his parents figuring out what they can do to help him be more comfortable and I really enjoy that. What I love most about it is that the parents 
aren't dismissive. They actually ask the prince what they can do to make him feel more comfortable. That is the biggest takeaway of this book is it really teaches trans parents how to communicate with their kids when they're having feelings like this and it was just such a wholesome book and I loved it so much. Damien's a self-published author so I'll have the links down below to where you can find him and if you would like to order this book. I got a signed copy from his website and it was only 10 bucks and it came with stickers and was signed and cool. For the rest of the day I'm going to listen to my audiobook for I'll Be the One by Lila Lee, a book that everybody told me to read and I just started the audiobook. It is awesome. This is about Skye who is a fat Korean dancer and she competes to be the next K-pop star and I didn't even know that this had reality TV and I am so excited. So I'm going to continue reading this. I honestly hope that I can finish it all in one day. If not, it's fine, but I really want to get a bingo. So those are my reading plans for the day. I'll update you if anything cool happens. I am excited to read more of I'll Be The One. I just knew that this was the right move. Contemporary is always the right move for me. That's why I read it because it's easy for me to read. Hello, it is Sunday and our Queer Lit Readathon is over and here are my updates. I did not finish anything yesterday but I did start I'll Be The One by Lila Lee. I believe I'm like almost 100 pages in and I'm loving it so much. I'm so excited to finish it today but let's go over my board. I decided to use I Am A Prince for rainbow cover. It has red, yellow, orange, green, uh, blue and I think that that works. Just going over my board really quick for the choose your own I'm going with children's book and for queer joy I have chosen mangoes and mistletoe and that's it. And now my reading wrap up. First I read mangoes and mistletoe by Adriana Herrera giving it a four out of five. Really enjoyed it. Then I read the graphic novel The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag giving it a 4.5 out of five stars. Loved it so much. Highly recommend. Then I read the group book Where We Go From Here by Lucas Rocca and I loved it so much giving it a five out of five stars. It was phenomenal. If you read the group book with us let me know in the comments what you thought. I'm curious to see what everybody else thought. I thought it was awesome and it's definitely one of my new favorite books. And last I read I Am A Prince by Damien A. Lopez giving this a five out of five stars. So I had pretty successful Queer Lit Readathon. So that was round eight of the Queer Lit Readathon. Thank you to everyone who participated and joined us for this round. If you would like to participate next year, the dates are actually up already on their Instagram. So I will have that all linked down below. Thank you so much to Rogan and Kathy for asking me to join them for round eight. I had so much fun and it is such an honor. So definitely go and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Let me know how your Queer Lit Readathon reading went this week and what your favorite book was. I would love to know. I am going to now go and film my advent calendar reading vlog. So hit subscribe if you haven't and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye!